Hello everyone, Brett McRae here with your Ag Report. A recent proposed rule from the BLM that would make significant changes to the agency's authority under the Federal Land Management and Policy Act has drawn major concerns from ag groups. Both the National Cattlemen's Beef Association and the Public Lands Council have released statements on the proposed rule from the Bureau of Land Management. The primary concern voiced by PLC is the elevation of conservation to be considered as a use under FLIPMA. The organization points to action in the 90s that attempted to insert conservation use in regulation to decrease grazing levels across the West. PL PLC says that while there are components of the proposal it has requested in the past, the process of development and possible effects indicate that the agency is no longer interested in collaborative policy. The producer partnership is looking for more donations from ranchers to help fight food insecurity in Montana. Founded in the spring of 2020, the Producer Partnership's mission is to end hunger in the state. The nonprofit's new facility has the capacity to process 3,750 animals, generating more than 840,000 pounds of meat, and has the goal to expand and provide local beef for Montana schools. In return for the donation, the donor receives a tax letter equal to the pounds of meat donated. Find more information at ProducerPartnership.com. Thanks for tuning in to the first segment of your Ag News. We'll be back in an hour with your markets. We asked Montana farmer Walt Sales about the challenges of mental health in agriculture. Another drought, there always is. There's always gonna be another something. I grew up in a generation of, you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps, but it's become evident is what do you do if you can't even find those bootstraps? If you need to talk to somebody, go to beyondtheweather.com for free counseling for Montana Ag Producers. Hello everyone, Brett McRae here with more Ag News and your markets. Cattle prices have gotten a terrific bounce from recent trading sessions as those markets are benefiting from very strong optimism right now. Even with a weaker economy and higher interest rates, both futures traders and cattle buyers can't ignore the fundamental fact of tight supplies, proven by sharply higher cash trade for fat cattle last week. Even more encouraging it for markets has been the support of boxed beef, showing that even with inflation, consumers are still choosing beef at the meat case. Speaking of higher cash prices last week, live deals averaged $175, up $3 to $5, and $279 on the dress basis, $5 to $8 higher. At the Math Farms Angus Bull Sale, held at Glasgow Stockyards over the weekend, 74 total bulls averaged $4,760 overall, 32% higher than last year. And the crew at Glasgow Stockyards continues to support local producers with the Ayers Angus production sale on Thursday after a propane explosion in the brand barn last week. We're wishing co-owner Jake Newton a speedy recovery in the hospital where he was taken for smoke inhalation he suffered while moving cattle to safety. Slaughter ewes were lower in Sioux Falls Thursday from 60 to 70 cents, and weather continues to support both spring and winter wheat futures, thanks to hot and dry conditions in the southern plains and cold and wet regions in the upper Midwest. On the Northern Ag Network, I'm Brett McRae.